NASA has just detected a massive 500,000 mile wide hole in the sun's atmosphere, facing directly at Earth. This colossal coronal hole is blasting solar wind toward our planet, potentially triggering geomagnetic storms. While sky watchers across the United States may witness breathtaking auroras, some scientists warn that intense solar activity like this has been linked to an increase in powerful earthquakes and explosive volcanic eruptions. As of January 31st, this solar event could be a precursor to something far more devastating. Could this be the calm before a planetary upheaval? Stay tuned, because what's coming our way might change everything. A remarkable discovery from NASA has set the scientific community abuzz. A massive 500,000-mile solar hole facing Earth. This enormous coronal hole, located in the Sun's outer atmosphere, has the potential to unleash solar winds that could impact our planet in unexpected ways, influencing not just our satellite communications and power grids, but also the very dynamics of Earth's core and its tectonic activities. As we stand at the precipice of this discovery, we are left wondering, what does this mean for us? Could the solar wind impact earthquakes and volcanic eruptions here on Earth? What lies ahead in this cosmic event? At first glance, the idea of a hole on the sun might sound almost whimsical, but in reality, it is a serious phenomenon that demands our attention. A coronal hole is a region on the sun's surface where the magnetic field is open, allowing charged particles to escape more freely into space. Unlike the sun's brighter, hotter regions, coronal holes are cooler and less dense. When these holes face Earth, they send streams of solar wind hurtling toward our planet at speeds that can reach up to 1.8 million miles per hour. This solar wind is composed of charged particles, primarily electrons, protons, and alpha particles, that interact with Earth's magnetic field, creating geomagnetic storms. The Sun, despite being 93 million miles away, exerts a profound influence on our planet. When these solar winds reach Earth, they don't just create the auroras we so often admire in the polar skies. The charged particles can also stir up disturbances in Earth's magnetosphere, causing geomagnetic storms that ripple through the planet's electrical systems. However, the interaction doesn't end there. What if the effects are deeper, more visceral, and intertwined with the very forces that shape the Earth's surface? Understanding the sun's solar wind is key to making sense of the possible connection between solar activity and seismic events like earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. The solar wind affects the Earth's magnetosphere, but there is a growing body of research suggesting that it could also influence the planet's core dynamics and, subsequently, its tectonic activity. Geophysicists have hypothesized that geomagnetic storms may play a role in triggering shifts in the Earth's core. The Earth's outer core, made of liquid iron and nickel, generates the magnetic field that shields us from the worst effects of the sun's radiation. However, this very core, through its dynamic processes, interacts with the planet's lithosphere, the solid outer layer responsible for earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. When solar wind intensifies, it's believed that the geomagnetic forces could influence the tectonic plates, potentially triggering stress along fault lines. While the precise mechanism is still a subject of much debate, some scientists point to the idea that disturbances in Earth's magnetic field might alter the pressure distribution in the Earth's crust. This could, in theory, cause shifts in tectonic plates, leading to earthquakes or volcanic activity. Even more fascinating is the possibility that certain alignments of solar activity might coincide with major seismic events, though the connection remains largely speculative at this stage. Further complicating matters is the interaction between the Sun's energy and Earth's core. The Earth's inner core is composed of solid iron, while the outer core, as mentioned, is liquid. This dynamic, with its ever-changing flow of molten metals and magnetic fields, drives the planet's geomagnetic field. However, when large solar wind bursts occur, they may influence the flow of molten materials in the outer core, 
indirectly affecting the entire geophysical system. It's a captivating thought. Could a massive solar event be linked to major shifts in Earth's inner workings, the very heart of our planet? Could the forces that create geomagnetic storms be, in some subtle way, contributing to the rumblings beneath our feet? Earthquakes and volcanic eruptions are the visible signs of the immense forces at work beneath Earth's surface. Earthquakes result from sudden movements along fault lines, while volcanic eruptions occur when magma escapes from beneath the Earth's crust. Though these events are primarily driven by the slow-moving tectonic forces beneath the planet, there is growing evidence to suggest that solar activity might act as a triggering mechanism, setting off a chain reaction. When solar winds disrupt Earth's magnetosphere, they might influence the flow of magma and the stress on fault lines. This phenomenon is still largely theoretical, but the idea that solar activity could influence seismic and volcanic events adds a new layer of complexity to our understanding of how the Earth works. In 1859, the world witnessed the most powerful geomagnetic storm ever recorded, the Carrington event. A brilliant solar flare erupted from the sun, hurling a massive coronal mass ejection toward Earth. Within hours, telegraph systems worldwide were set ablaze by induced electrical currents and the skies lit up with auroras as far south as the Caribbean. But something else was happening beneath the Earth's surface. During the same period, a series of seismic disturbances were reported, particularly in regions known for tectonic activity. While the link remained speculative at the time, the coincidence was striking. A massive outburst from the sun, followed by increased geological unrest on Earth. One of the most haunting examples of this possible connection can be found in the events leading up to the 1906 San Francisco earthquake. At 5.12 a.m. on April 18, the ground beneath the city convulsed violently, unleashing a magnitude 7.9 earthquake that reduced much of San Francisco to ruins. Fires raged through the city for days, leaving nearly 80% of it destroyed and thousands dead. What is particularly intriguing about this disaster is that it coincided with a period of heightened solar activity. In the months leading up to the quake, the sun had been experiencing a surge in sunspots and solar flares, eruptions of energy that hurled charged particles across the solar system. Though there was no way to measure geomagnetic disturbances at the time with modern precision, historical records indicate that auroras, one of the telltale signs of heightened solar wind, were observed at unusually low latitudes in the days leading up to the quake, suggesting that Earth's magnetic field had been disturbed by an influx of charged particles from the Sun. Another eerie coincidence occurred nearly three decades later with the 1933 Long Beach earthquake. On March 10th, the city was shaken by a magnitude 6.4 earthquake that killed 120 people and caused widespread destruction. Once again, this event occurred during a period of increased solar activity. Just days before the quake, astronomers had recorded a sharp rise in sunspots, indicating that the sun was particularly active at the time. Scientists continue to examine whether geomagnetic disturbances caused by solar storms might have played a role in altering the stress along California's fault lines, potentially acting as a catalyst for the earthquake. Moving beyond seismic events, Volcanic eruptions have also been known to coincide with heightened solar activity. In 1883, the Earth bore witness to one of the most cataclysmic volcanic eruptions in recorded history, the explosion of Krakatoa. The eruption was so violent that it obliterated most of the island, sent shockwaves around the globe, and darkened the skies for years due to the massive amount of ash injected into the atmosphere. What makes this event particularly fascinating is that it occurred during a peak in the solar cycle. Sunspot records from the time show that the sun was extremely active in the years leading up to the eruption, with multiple solar storms impacting Earth's magnetic field. Some researchers have hypothesized that the influence of these storms could have subtly altered magma movement beneath Krakatoa, contributing to the timing of the eruption. A similar case can be found in the eruption of Nova Rupta in 1912, the most powerful volcanic eruption of the 20th century. 
This massive explosion in Alaska's Katmai region sent more than three cubic miles of ash into the sky, significantly altering global climate patterns for years. Once again, solar activity was at a high point during this period, with an increase in sunspots and solar wind intensity. While volcanic eruptions are primarily driven by internal geological forces, the possibility that solar-induced geomagnetic fluctuations could play a secondary role in influencing magma pressure is an idea that continues to gain traction. Fast forward to 2004, when the world was shaken by one of the deadliest natural disasters in recorded history, the Indian Ocean earthquake and tsunami. On December 26, a staggering magnitude 9.1 earthquake ruptured along the seafloor near Sumatra, unleashing a catastrophic wave that claimed over 230,000 lives across multiple countries. It was a moment of unimaginable devastation, a stark reminder of nature's raw power. But what makes this event even more remarkable is that it occurred during an intense period of solar activity. Just weeks before, the sun had unleashed a series of powerful solar flares, including an X-class flare, the most intense category, on November 4, 2003. Scientists studying the event began to question whether the charged particles and electromagnetic disturbances from the sun had somehow influenced the already stressed fault lines beneath the Indian Ocean. Even more recent examples add to this intriguing puzzle. The 2010 Haiti earthquake, a magnitude 7.0 disaster that killed over 230,000 people, occurred just weeks after a series of intense solar storms in late 2009. Similarly, the massive 8.8-magnitude .8 earthquake that struck Chile in February 2010 happened during another peak in solar activity. Scientists analyzing these patterns have noted that some of the most destructive earthquakes of the past century have occurred during times when the sun was at its most volatile, spewing charged particles into space and disrupting Earth's magnetic environment. The idea that solar storms could act as a trigger rather than a cause, gained traction as more data surfaced. Seismologists and astrophysicists noted that other significant earthquakes often occurred around peaks of solar activity. In March 2011, another devastating event shook the world, the Great Tohoku Earthquake in Japan, a magnitude 9.0 tremor that triggered a massive tsunami and led to the Fukushima nuclear disaster. Once again, in the months leading up to the quake, the sun had been particularly active. On March 9th, just two days before the earthquake, an X 1.5 class solar flare erupted, sending a burst of solar wind toward Earth. As researchers sifted through the patterns, a compelling question emerged. Could solar-induced geomagnetic fluctuations be influencing the deep forces that drive tectonic movement? Volcanic eruptions, too, have shown a peculiar connection to solar activity. In 1980, Mount St. Helens, a sleeping giant in Washington state, roared back to life in an eruption that reshaped the landscape and claimed dozens of lives. That year, solar activity had been climbing toward its peak, with increased sunspot numbers and heightened solar wind intensity. Similarly, in 1991, when Mount Pinatubo in the Philippines erupted in one of the most powerful explosions of the 20th century, the sun was experiencing a period of heightened activity, spewing solar flares and coronal mass ejections toward Earth. The violent awakening of these volcanoes during times of solar turbulence added yet another layer of mystery to the potential link between the sun and Earth's internal forces. In 2022, the Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha Pai volcanic eruption sent shockwaves through the planet, generating atmospheric waves that traveled around the globe multiple times. This eruption, one of the most explosive in modern history, occurred just as the sun was ramping up its activity cycle, with multiple solar flares recorded in the weeks leading up to the event. Some researchers now speculate that the increased geomagnetic disturbances caused by solar storms could have subtly influenced the pressure dynamics within the volcano possibly serving as a final trigger for the eruption. The idea that solar activity could influence earthquakes and volcanic eruptions is still a subject of intense debate. 
but the growing number of coincidences is difficult to ignore. The mechanisms behind such a connection remain elusive, but one prevailing theory suggests that the sun's charged particles may induce electrical currents deep within the Earth's conductive outer core. These currents could, in turn, alter the stress distribution in tectonic plates or even influence the movement of magma beneath the surface. If a fault line is already on the brink of slipping or a volcano is nearing the point of eruption, these electromagnetic disturbances could provide the final push needed to set off a catastrophic event. Despite the uncertainties, what is clear is that we are only beginning to uncover the intricate ways in which the Sun and Earth interact. Our planet is not isolated in space. It is part of a vast and interconnected system where cosmic forces shape the very ground we walk on. As we move deeper into an age of scientific discovery, understanding the relationship between solar activity and geological events may one day help us develop new methods of predicting disasters, giving us precious moments to prepare for the next great earthquake or volcanic eruption. Picture, for a moment, the invisible threads connecting our world to the sun, an immense star raging with energy 93 million miles away. Solar storms erupt in its fiery depths, sending waves of electromagnetic energy surging through space. These waves reach Earth, twisting and bending our planet's magnetic field, seeping into its core, subtly disturbing the molten forces that lie hidden beneath our feet. And then, without warning, the ground shudders. A fault line ruptures. A mountain explodes. What if these moments are not mere coincidence but part of a grand cosmic dance, a celestial interplay that we are only just beginning to understand? Imagine standing in a quiet field, with the wind gently sweeping across the land, when suddenly, the ground beneath you begins to shake. At first, the tremors are subtle, but they quickly build, becoming an unstoppable force that cracks the earth open, sending lava flowing and rocks tumbling. While it's difficult to predict exactly when this might happen, the connection between solar wind and tectonic activity is one that beckons further exploration. The idea that an invisible force from the sun could play a role in shaping our planet's geological future is as awe-inspiring as it is unsettling. With each new discovery, the mysteries of our solar system continue to unfold, reminding us of how deeply intertwined the forces of the cosmos are with the Earth. The discovery of this massive solar hole facing Earth could be a pivotal moment in understanding how the Sun's activity affects our planet, especially when it comes to seismic and volcanic events. As we look toward the future, we must ask ourselves not only how we can protect our technology and infrastructure from solar storms, but also how we can begin to understand the hidden connections between the sun's solar wind and the forces that drive the shifting of our world beneath our feet. As scientists race to understand the full impact, we are left to ponder the delicate balance that holds our world together. The sun's influence is far greater than we once imagined, and with each new discovery, we uncover more of the intricate dance between Earth and the universe beyond. The question remains, are we prepared for what's coming our way? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain, the more we learn, the better we can face whatever the cosmos has in store. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on the latest discoveries, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a new upload. Let's explore the universe together.